In this video, we're going hands-on with a brand new Thrive Apprentice reporting feature specific to individual members and membership control. We're going to dive in and take a look at some of the new features that are available there. This is a very early hands-on look, so we're going to dive in and explore some of this together. And there's some really cool stuff that I want to go over and show you. But this video kind of builds upon my previous one, so if you have not yet watched my video all about the Thrive Apprentice reporting update, go watch that one first and then come back to this video. I think it'll help you as we dig in a little bit. Okay, so we're on a demo site. That's why you just see a bunch of me's here on the screen. This is what you see now when you go to the members tab. It is a little bit different and that's because it's going to have some engagement summary at the top. This is kind of a little snapshot, a little bit of what we saw previously inside of the apprentice snapshot report, kind of like that very top level. I think for the most part, again, just being totally brutally transparent, I think that like new members, new enrollments and average products is not helpful to me because I know my data, I know these numbers. Um, if you have just like a bazillion people and you've got a ton of free products and you're really interested in all that kind of stuff, I could see that being more useful to you. What I like is the active member section. It's nice to be able to know that like if you have a couple hundred members inside of your membership that oh, okay, you know, only 38 of them are active or, okay, we're doing pretty good. 150 of them are active. Active meaning that they're engaging with your content in some way, shape or form, commenting, taking lessons, enrolling in courses, completing lessons and things like that. I'll, I'll just say this is probably my favorite part of this big, big feature update to Thrive Apprentice. It's the new member management section. So in general, there's not too much different here. We can see our users and they're listed out. It just looks a little bit different. We can add a member. This looks pretty much exactly the same. You add their name, their email, notify, notify them by email if you want to. And then you can import your members like normal. Nothing's changed there, but here's where kind of the magic happens. It's when we click on a specific user. Now I'm gonna switch over to my other site where I have more data on on like courses and stuff. Otherwise this would look pretty boring, but let's go ahead and click on, on user. For example, let's select myself here. All right, now with the magic of YouTube, we're on my other site and this is my profile. I think this is, yeah, this is my admin account. You can see here uh, when I was last online, which I guess that doesn't make sense because I'm online right now. Uh, but when we joined the email of the user um, and then we have some of these really cool features here at the top that exist already, or some of them exist already, like viewing the WordPress user account, um, because you know all student accounts are also WordPress accounts, editing their access rights. So if I click on this, you can see that I can add and remove stuff. That's pretty, pretty normal. And then we have our ability to log in as the user, which is, I use this all the time. When someone says, hey, I don't have access to a course, I'll just log in as them and be like, yeah, you do. Here's how you access your course. And then we have the view member report. So we'll come back to that in a second. But I love the way that this looks. At a glance, you can see what somebody has access to and you can see a little bit more data about them. So I can see that I, when I enrolled in all these courses and I can see the status of the course right here, I have them all unlocked. I can see the progress that I've made in my courses. Man, I'm doing terrible, look at that. And then I can see when I was last active on those courses. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the member specific data that we have. So first I wanna click the member report option here in the upper right. Okay, so when I just arrive at that link, it basically just takes me into the, uh, basically the reporting section we looked at before. And what it's done is it's taken us to the course dashboard where we can start looking at course enrollments and things like that. But the one change here is that at the top, we've narrowed it down to just the member uh, to myself. And here we can show all of the exact same data that I showed in the previous video, except it's tailored just to the user that you've drilled down into. So here's uh, an example user and some of their activity over the past uh, little while here. In this particular user, uh, they've completed 47% average course completion. They've made 195 engagements. They've completed 50 lessons. Obviously they're doing a lot better than I am. And I can kind of see like their lesson drop off rate. So this is just a nice kind of overview of how this particular student is doing. And we could drill down even further. So this is that same student. And now this is for just one of my courses. So we can see here that they skipped lesson one, the course overview, uh, shame on you. And then they went over and they, they did all of these lessons. They skipped one of the lessons. Um, so apparently they weren't interested in adding more content to lessons, but then they went on and then they stopped 
and then they did not watch certain lessons. And I could actually click in here and see like, okay, look, it's, it's dripping. So this, these whole three, four, five lessons here are all about adding drip to your courses, not interested. But as soon as I started talking about the member experience, again, this is my Thrive Apprentice course. So as I start talking about how do you build that member experience, suddenly they're engaged again. And then if you remember from that first video, uh, the one about reporting, uh, we talked about how there was a drop off at the end and here we go again, right? There's drop off because these are lessons that I think are very, very specific to only a certain number of people. So they're just not interested. Okay. Now we're back looking at my account and we're back on a screen that I just love the look of. Let's drill down. So we clicked on the view, the member report, and that was kind of like our aggregate data all about that user. Now let's drill down and look at specific courses pertaining to this user. So let's look at how I've done in the Thrive Apprentice to Master course. Here is a super, super, super helpful report because if we look at me, for example, I, I completed these lessons and I can see which ones I actually completed and then I can see which ones I had unlocked, but I skipped. So you can see here, I skipped a few and I jumped around. This is really, really helpful because if you have students, and I get this all the time, someone will say to me, hey, Doug, you didn't cover this in your course. How do I do this? I can jump in here and I'll be able to come back and I'll look at them and I'll say, oh, Doug, it looks like, you know, you said I didn't cover typography, but you you actually didn't take that lesson. Uh, go back in. It's lesson number whatever. Uh, here's a link. Um, let me know if you have any questions, right? I would never have known that. Instead, I would have had to frame that discussion like, oh, did you not see the typography lesson? I have a lesson in there all about typography. Go check it out. Here I actually know whether or not they completed this lesson. Now, in my case, that's more of just like a, a customer service, kind of like student engagement, helping a student out. In some cases, this is going to be a lot more, I guess, a lot more regulatory. I guess that's the word. It's basically like if you're in an industry, maybe some kind of continuing education where you actually need to 100% show that somebody took and completed something, this is really useful. You have proof that... They started and completed on a particular date, what they did, what they didn't do, and then you can prove that to them and then to maybe to somebody else. Again, I think this might be my favorite part of member reporting because there's just so much meat here on what you're capable of doing. And I want to show you more of those features, but we won't do it on myself. Let's jump into another user. Okay, so we're looking at just a random user on my site. They're actually taking one of my lead magnet free courses. So in my Thrive Theme Builder Essentials, I, I offer this first big quick start guide. It's like a 30 minute long video. I offer this for free. And so you can see in this particular case, they've unlocked obviously the first module, but they've only unlocked the first lesson in it. Now there are additional lessons here that are locked. And for this particular user, look what I could do. I could click into a lesson and let's say that this particular user contacted me and said, Hey Doug, I love this. I'm thinking of buying. I'm just interested in maybe what one of your lessons is about. I could come in here and instead of having to like break my whole drip setup, break my Thrive Automator unlock automations that I've built for this course when they enroll, that's a lot of work. And it used to be a lot, actually it used to be almost impossible to grant this user access to just a particular lesson without doing something really hyper technical. But now I just come in, I check the lesson and I say, you know what? I wanna unlock this content for the member. And if I click this button, this lesson will become unlocked. I could also go in and mark a lesson as completed and I have a lot more control than I used to have. So this is so cool. The ability to interact with and have more of a, I guess like control is the wrong word, but to just have more ability to manage your students, this just makes so much more sense to me than what we had before. So that wraps up kind of our hands-on look, our first look at the new member management and member analytics inside of Thrive Apprentice. I said this in my previous video and I'll just reiterate, this is the baseline. This is the entry point for a lot of these new features. And if they're starting off this good, I think there's a lot more to come here. Personally, I'm really excited for quiz results, which we know are going to be coming soon. We can tie users taking quizzes in with their profile and I'm hoping Thrive updates the, the member profiles here that we were looking at to be able to show like Doug completed this quiz. Here's the score that he got. Here's his result. Can you imagine how awesome that would be for kind of a more formal, traditional 
I guess, learning school environment or someone that was actually doing certificates or things like that. I mean, even for me, where I really don't care what score somebody gets on a quiz, because that's really not within my wheelhouse for my courses, but it would be really cool to be able to just see all of that data right there on the dashboard. So I'll wrap this video kind of like I did the last one by saying, if this is the entry level, the baseline of where we're starting at, there's a lot of really cool stuff coming to Thrive Apprentice's member management.